Hey everybody, it's Ed. All right, this video, I wanna focus on a collection of Elvis Presley items that, in my opinion, could very well be one of the, if not the greatest Elvis Presley collections in the world. Uh, the person I'm going to be talking about is named Jim Curtin, or Jim E. Curtin. And Jim Curtin was a huge, super Elvis fan. Uh, my parents knew Jim. Jim is no longer with us. He passed away, I, I want to say, uh, maybe around 2009 or so, maybe 2010. Not exactly sure. I have to look it up. But uh, Jim was was a absolute super Elvis fan, and he had an amazing collection of records, items, autographs, photos, scarves, and and you know these are scarves that he obtained himself from Elvis and apparently was friends with Elvis because a lot of the signatures from Elvis uh in this book show Jim you know my my good friend always Elvis Presley or just whatever but uh I thought what I would do is just start off by talking a little bit about this and then cutting off and and editing together shots of us looking through this book together because if you are not familiar with this book now what this book is is um as it says here the jim e curtin elvis empire collection and i think the 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 summary of the story of of him selling this collection because this is a book um that was put together for an auction that he did of all his items and I believe he had met somebody, was looking to get married, and there went the collection. So I believe that's the short of the story. However, um, when you when you look through this book and you look through what what he had and and the asking prices on a lot of these things, it's it's absolutely amazing. Now, this was done back on January seventh and eighth, back in two thousand six, in Beverly Hills, California. Now, I don't know what the end results were for this auction, how much sold, how much stuff sold for. There is one particular piece that I am aware of, uh, and we'll, we'll get to that when, when we go through the book. Now, whether or not we're going to go through the whole book in this video, I don't know. Maybe we'll make it part one, part two, depending on how long it goes. But I'm going to sign off here, and then we're going to edit right to us starting to look through here. So hang in there. Stay tuned. Right, right, buddy. So I have looked through this again, and this is how I'm going to do this. This first video, we're just going to do a very quick flip through, give you an idea of what is in here and what this collection entailed. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to do separate videos and go into more in depth on some of the items that are in here. So let's just start breezing through this because there are a lot of items in here and what I thought we would do is look at the different subgenres of of the collection okay all right so again Jim E Curtin and when we open the book we just have certain advertisements and things within here we have a never before seen Elvis film collection and I believe the asking price was a firm yes firm one million dollars all right, now remember this is back in 2006, and this is just information and directions regarding how to get there, a bidding form, or if you wanted to bid on eBay. And yeah, so all this information, good stuff, information about Jim himself, photo of Jim shaking Elvis's hand, Philadelphia, 1976. Jim was also a tribute artist slash entertainer performer uh, himself. So, Let's start breezing through. We have the author, Jim E. Curtin, bibliography. And then we have photographs outside of Elvis collection. All right, I guess that's somebody else. All right, but here's a table of contents to give you an idea of what is inside. If you want to pause that and read, it'll give you what's in there. All right, let's start thumbing through. So here we have outfits. Empire collection. I guess this is like just really rare 
items, all right? I mean, that's pretty damn rare. The nail suit that he wore at Nassau Coliseum in, in uh, I think it was June 24th, 1973. He was given that, I believe, by... No, 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 not this one. That was not given to him by Vernon. I think this was given to him actually by Elvis. All right, the leather suit that my mom wore when they went to Vegas. And I have that picture actually right there. So there is my mom wearing that jacket. And here's the full suit. So this was sold. I believe this sold for $50,000. And I believe who owns this now is one of the Wiggles. I'm not sure which one. I don't know their names, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, apparently one of them is a huge Elvis fan. And bought that for, I believe, a price of $50,000. And I believe it was at this auction in 2006. And that is pretty much the only item that I know of that sold and how much it sold for. Actually, all right, let me try not to breeze by this too quick. But again, just going through this book at this pace, we'll probably make it a 10, 15 minute video because there's a lot of stuff in here. But this collection, I mean, what we're seeing now are just single items. But as we go through the book, you're going to see lots with multiple, multiple albums or 45s or you know, eight tracks or cassettes. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's amazing. You, this is apparently a 50 year collection, um, <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. So, all right. So here, like I was talking about, see the stacks of 45s and EPs and man, look at that. That is awesome. So look at all those red labels. <laughs> <laughs> Gold standards. Look at all those albums. Look at this stuff. I mean, this is... I, I can't even fathom owning this much stuff. And I feel like I have a lot as it is. I feel like, you know, there's, it's just... Wow, there's, there's so much. You can't own everything. Where the hell would you put it? Yep, I just saw that recently at Infinity Records. I have a couple of these. But there's, I don't think there's anything in this book that um, is not from, uh, in other words, any of the rare things that I have, I think he pretty much all has in here. Um, there's really nothing that I could find that I have that wasn't shown in this book. Uh, there may have been like one, one or two certain things. I'm not sure if I saw the snowman card in here, the Colonel Parker uh, snowman card. And I don't know if he has that, that guest artist backstage button, the yellow one with the black writing. I don't know if I saw that in here. Um, I believe there are, you know, backstage passes and stuff that I have. Uh, I didn't see any King's Court stuff in here. He does ha have a lot of fan club items, but nothing from the King's Court. So, I guess he wasn't a member. <laughs> Although, I kind of thought he was because, again, my parents, they, they, they were, I, I don't know if they were friendly or friends with him, but they, they knew of each other, I believe. I'll have to get a little bit more on that. Maybe they did know him. It's the problem is my memory isn't so good, unfortunately. All right, but yeah, we're, we're at page 140 at this point. And again, this is just a quick breeze through to give you an idea of all of the amazing items that he had in this collection. Now we're getting into officially licensed Elvis Presley Enterprises um, productions from back in the day, from the 50s. Elvis record player, bubblegum cards. Look at this stuff. Wallets, 
posters. Just an uh, absolutely astounding, amazing collection. I mean, what what would you do with all of this? I had that. Not anymore. But I mean, just such rare items. And again, I know some of you are like, oh my god, wait, 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 go back. But again, I'll I'll do more videos going into more depth and maybe even be able to somehow edit them better. This actually is on sale right now. You can find this in Infinity Records. I think he's asking 125 for it. And he was asking 500 at the auction. So if it's 125, that would be a bargain if you're interested. Again, that's Infinity Records of Massapequa Park. Nassau County, Long Island. Yep, look at this, man. Menus from Vegas. I have that. That I have on my wall. Actually, we got two of them. So I have the front and the back framed. Showing. Ticket stubs. Damn, look at these. Thought we had a nice assortment of ticket stubs. Pales in comparison to what this guy has or had. Look at this stuff, man. All right, we're coming to the end. Magazines, TV guides, all that good stuff. I'm trying to do this so the shadow is not down. Sorry. And busts and statues and books and photos and prints and buttons and magazines and advertisements and yeah, look at this man it's crazy oh films more film stuff box sets eight tracks cassettes photos oh man look at this stuff bubblegum cards photos promo photos nice buttons yeah so jim jim had the fortunate pleasure of really knowing elvis i guess because again uh the elvis wound up gifting him things vernon wound up gifting him that leather jacket or the leather outfit rather from 74 from north beach leather um that my mother got to try on so yeah he he was you know definitely super fan got to be known and uh definitely was able to get some really, really nice things. And, you know, his collection was unbelievable. And there we go. So that is the end of the book. Again, that was the Jim E. Curtin Elvis Empire Collection. And this was auctioned off in 2006. Again, knowing how successful it was, not entirely sure. Uh, however, I do know that this particular outfit did sell for $50,000. And if I remember correctly from reading the book, it was gifted to Jim from Vernon Presley after Elvis's death. And uh, had it in his collection until 2006, until it was bought by one of the founding members of The Wiggles. The one and only Wiggles. For those of you who have you know, children, what, 15, 20 years ago or so, you'll know who they are. And... Uh, yeah so there we have it i will be back we will do more videos going into more in depth on certain items and what the asking price was and all that good stuff but leave me a comment let me know if uh, that's something you would be interested in me delving in deeper or not either way if you want let me know i appreciate you watching be good to yourselves be good to each other